Good afternoon everyone and welcome to Mr. Ong Math Lesson again. Today we will be looking at the 2019 NCA Level 2 Calculus exam. Hopefully we will go through some of the short answer questions and if you can manage to do all of them, you should be able to get at least a high merit or a low excellence. Let's go. Okay, the first question is use calculus to find the gradient of the graph when x is equal to 2. So the first thing you need to factorize, not factorize, uh, differentiate. F1x is going to be 4x cubed plus 6x. And they ask you when x is equal to 2, so you substitute 2 into the equation. So 4, 2 cubed plus 6, 2. Multiply them. 8 times 4 is 32 plus 12. And the answer is going to be 44. And that will give you your first achieve. That's pretty simple. Okay, next one is an excellent question. So listen carefully. So they say, find the coordinates of this point x, y when this line is parallel to this line. The, the line given is y minus 8x plus 6 equal to 0. When we rearrange the formula, it's going to be y equal to 8x plus minus 6 because you plus 8x and minus 6 on both sides. And that means the gradient of that line is 8. If that gradient is 8, that gradient must also be 8. So you know your dy over dx is going to be 8. So what you do, you're going to do differentiate. So your dy over dx, you differentiate that equation, is going to be 12x squared minus 4. And if you know the gradient is 8, substitute 8 equals to 12x squared minus 4. Rearrange the formula 12x squared minus 4 equals to 8. 12x squared equals to 12. This tells you that x equals to 1 or minus 1. Okay, now your job is to find the coordinate. If you know your x, you need to find your y. What you do, you substitute your x into your y equation. Your y equation is this equation here. So when x equals to 1, your y equals to 4, 1 cube minus 4, 1 plus 4. Put in your calculator, it's going to be 4. So your first coordinate is 1, 4. If you can get that, you get a merit. If you get the second point, you get an excellent. So when x, the second point is x equal to minus 1. When x equals to minus 1, do the same thing. Substitute 4 minus 1 cubed minus 4 minus 1 plus 4. Put in your calculator. Again, it is 4. That's why your second coordinate is negative 1, 4. If you can get the two coordinates right, you get an excellent for this paper. The question 1, you get an excellent and you will get an easy E7 for question 1. Okay. Before we do that, we shall do another question. That is the merit question. The merit question say, Sophie is blowing a balloon. The volume, the V volume is 4 over 3 pi r cubed. Because they say volume with respect to the radius, so you need to find dv over dr, it becomes 4 pi r squared. You differentiate that equation. Now, they say that the volume with respect to radius is 25 pi. So 25 pi, because dv over dr is 25, equals to 4 pi r squared. You're going to solve it. So you're going to rearrange the formula. 4 pi r squared equals to 25 pi. R squared is equal to 25 pi divided by 4 pi. The pi will cancel out. So R squared equals to 25 over 4. When you square it, the answer, 25 over 5, 25 over 4, sorry, will give you 5 over 2. Plus, minus, but because radius, you can't have a negative, so the radius is 5 over 2, and that is a merit. Okay, we shall carry on now to question 2. Question 2 is a common question in NCA. You are going to find, this is the equation of the graph, and you want to find the derivative. You need to know the turning point of the graph, 
the gradient is zero. So in that case, you bring it down, and that will be a turning. That will be a gradient. At that turning point, your gradient is zero. And then the midway point. This is a cubic graph. Y equal to x cube. When you differentiate, it's going to be a quadratic dy over dx. It is going to be a 3x squared. It's going to be a quadratic. So this is a positive cubic you will get a positive quadratic. So it will be a U-shape instead of a N-shape. So you need to know that the midpoint between 2.5 and 4.5 is 1. So you are going to find the minimum point. You just need to draw a line, a beautiful quadratic graph, a parabola that will give you a merit. That's straightforward. Okay? Okay, now we shall look at question 2. This is I think this is an a chief question. Okay, so we shall look at it. So now a function is given. So the derivative px equals to 5 minus 8x cubed. You want to find the equation of px. So now you are given the derivative. You want to find px. You have to integrate. To integrate, you do the 5x minus 8x4 over 4 but don't forget you must add a constant simplify that it's going to be 5x minus 2x4 plus c and you're going to rearrange the formula is going to be minus 2x4 plus 5x plus c your job is to find the c to find the c you must substitute this value so 2 and minus 25 2 is your x and minus 25 is your px. So what are you going to do? Substitute. So minus 25 is equal to minus 2, 2 to the power 4, plus 5 to the power 2, plus c. Use your calculator or we simplify that. 5x, uh, uh, 2, 4 is 16, minus 2 is minus 32, 5 times 2 is 10, plus c. So minus 25 equals to minus 22 plus c c equals to negative 3. One, you found your c, substitute back into this formula. So your px is going to be 5x minus 2x4 minus 3, or I will rearrange it minus 2x4 plus 5x minus 3, and that will be an achieve. Okay, and now we are looking at the excellence question. Excellence question, have a read first. Okay, so the question will say, that equation has a positive constant, so k is positive. Use calculus to find the range of values for x. So what you're going to do, you are first going to fact, uh, differentiate. So f1x is going to be uh, negative 6k squared x squared plus 6kx plus 12. Now, you need to know that if the, the graph is increasing, it means that f1x is increasing, so that must be greater than 0. The gradient is increasing, so it's greater than 0. So now what you're going to do, you are going to simplify, solve that equation. So what we did, we're going to take out the common factor 6. So we're left with k squared x squared minus kx minus 2. That must be greater than 0. When you divide by 6 throughout, the symbol, your inequation is going to change. So, k squared x squared minus kx minus 2. When you divide by minus 6, you're going to do 0 over negative 6. You're going to change the inequation. You're going to solve that x. So, now you have kx and kx. And then you're going to have minus 2 and plus 1. Check trial and error. Minus 2kx. That becomes plus kx. When you add them up together, it's going to be minus kx, and that's what in the middle. So you factorize them, it's going to be kx minus 2, kx plus 1. is less than 0. So when you simplify that, x equals to 2 over k, or on this side, minus 1 over k. So now we're going to draw the graph. Minus 1 over k is here. And over here is 2 over k. So this is a positive quadratic because it's a positive, so it's going to be a U-shape. Okay? 
So if it is less than zero, this part of the graph is going to be negative. So your value of x is going to be range from minus 1 over k to 2 over k, and that will give you an excellence for this question. Great. Now we're going to do the last question. So we have E7 for the first question and E7 for the second question. Now we are going to find the third question. There are no, uh, we will not do the excellence question. We are trying to get an M6 for this question. So the total will be 20. Okay. Find the initial speed of the car when the distance is this. What happens that you need to find the velocity, the speed. So uh, you differentiate it. S1t is going to be 6 minus 2t. Initial speed means time equal to 0. So S1, 0 is going to be 6 minus 0. And the answer is 6 meter per second. And that will give you an achieve. Okay, we shall go on to the second one. The second one say how long? So you have to find the time when the speed equal to 0. So the first thing again, the speed is going to be... Uh, 6 minus the distance is equal to 0, sorry. When so the distance is equal to 0, so 6t minus t squared equal to 0. You're going to solve it. So, oh, sorry, uh, my mistake. You need to find that this one. So, s1t is equal to 6 minus 2t, and and now you need to find t equals 0, this speed is 0, 6 minus 2t, so 6 minus 2t equals 0, you're going to solve minus 2t is minus 6, t equals to 3, and that is a merit. Okay, the last one, how fast means you are counting uh, the speed, okay? when it reaches the second time. So in other words, the distance is going to be zero. So S T must be equal to zero. So S T is zero. So it's going to be the, the distance is zero. So 6T minus T squared equal to zero. You're going to solve it T. 6 minus T equal to zero. T equal to zero or T equals to six. So you have found the t equals 0 here. You can find the speed now. S1t, you found earlier that 6 minus 2t. You're going to substitute t equal to 6 in that equation. So S16 is going to be 6 minus 2 power 6. Uh, 2 times 6, I mean 6 minus 12. And the answer is minus 6 meter per second. And that will give you another merit. Keep practicing and before long, you'll be an expert in calculus. Thank you for watching and enjoy learning.